girls, it is us again from the Progressive Scoop for Vinyl Update 23 at this point. Uh, sorry, there's been a large, large gap in between um, updates. I've uh, been busy, busy bees and uh, haven't been able to pick so much up. So today it's more of a, um, some things, it's more of a collection video. A couple of updates to show you, just two CDs that we've uh, recently laid our hands on. Uh, so let's first start off with this plethora of punk. In fact, in fact that's actually going to be the title of the video. Update 23, plethora of punk. Tear kids. Right, let's start off on the top. Uh, we have um, the jams. Uh, a bomb in Wardour Street. Uh, um, that's side B. Should start with side A, really. Uh, side A is uh, the jams. David Watts. I haven't heard any of these tracks. The voice is a bit more of a fan. Do you like the, do you like the jam, the voice? Yeah. Thanks, voice. Um, moving on from that, unfortunately, I don't have too much to say. Uh, the jam. Uh, next, we have The Ruts. Uh, I love this album artwork. Sudoku. Sort of Sudoku, whatever. Um, we've got on here, we've got a cross, down, and staring at the rude boys. Uh, that actually was covered not too long ago by a, uh, what's the genre? Gallows? Genre? Hardcore punk. By a hardcore punk band by the name of The Gallows. Uh, so you check that out. The Lethal Bizzle. Pretty sick. Yeah, and Lethal Bizzle, but don't worry about the latter. Um, fantastic. Really good little listen. I like it. It's just, just a single. Can't go wrong. It's in great condition, actually. I'm quite pleased to have uh, found this sort of weird mix of uh, punk singles that my mum just had lying around in a box. So, yeah, that's the ruts. Next, we have something that's not in great condition. Uh, it's the skids. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame. Uh, but this is the skids masquerade. Uh, side one's masquerade. Side and side two is out of town. Uh, I like the skids. Good sound. Very raw. Um, let's have a look. See, this is in good condition. This is very, very good condition. Uh, it comes out of uh, vinyl, uh, the vinyl records, Virgin Records, back in, in 1979. Uh, so that's it's quite cool. It's weird that I have this. It's 2015, bro. Uh, 1979. It's very strange. Um, but yeah, the Skids Masquerade. Uh, next is something we have here. It's the Six Pistols Popcorn. And uh, we've got Who Killed and Bambi. Yeah, I like this. It's very simple. And on the back, bam, punk deer. Yeah. Um, so yeah. It's quite cool. Uh, next we have something that I might have shown you before, but I'm going to show you again. I think I showed you, might have showed you a 12 inch. Uh, something like that. But this is Madness is Our House and Walking with Mr. Weeze. That's quite cool. I'm a big fan of Madness. This comes from the 1982. What am I reading on? Uh, from Stiff Records. Sorry, I couldn't read that. It's a weird S. Um, so, yeah. Another cool little find. Madness. Yeah, Madness. Uh, next is another, uh, I have a quite a lot of Pretenders LP in my little singles collection just behind you, because uh, we just sort it out, but I found this one out, which I don't think I've shown you yet, and it's um, Pretenders I've Got to Sleep, a little bit of a tear there, bit of a shame, uh, we've got uh, I've Got to Sleep and English Roses, quite cool, Gentleman Asleep there. Also a sip on the back. Gripping stuff. Um, so that's that. Uh, next we have... Uh, I've showed this before, but I want to show it again because it's a great song. Uh, and that's uh, Hawkwind's Silver Machine. Um, of course, side A being Silver Machine. Side B being 7x7. Seven seven. I was quite lucky to find this as we were, you know... Listened the hell out of it the week before, and I think we just went to a charity shop, picked this bad boy up for 20 pence, ladies and gents. 20 of our finest pennies. Um, doesn't really work like that. 
that, yeah. Uh, so that's Hawkwind and Silver Machine and 7x7. Seven seven. This was released in 1972 uh, under the uh, UAR uh, company, United Record, uh, no, United Artist Records. There. Uh, so that's cool. Hawkwind. Next we have The Jam's Beat and Surrender. Uh, oh no, Beat Surrender, sorry, that's side one. And side two is Shopping. Uh, this was released uh, under Polydor, by the looks of it, in 1982. It's quite cool, this is in great condition, it looks lovely, this does. Really nice. Nice and simple. Just the young lady there with the weird flag. Great, so that's the jams. Um, beat Surrender and Shopping. Next we have a little bit of Scar to, uh, to uh, you know, liven up the turn a bit. And I've recently really got into Scar and Pub Rock. I'll talk a bit about that later, actually. Um, but yeah, we have here um, the Specials. The Specials. Um, we've got Ghost Town, Side A. And we've got Y and Friday Night, Saturday Morning on Side B. Uh, which is quite cool. I love Ghost Town. I like the specials a lot. They're really, really easy to get into. Uh, on my way back from France, actually, uh, which is about 16 hour coach ride, <laughs> something ridiculous like that, uh, all, they're, all, they're actually all I listen to. Just their discography. Over and over again. Fantastic. You can really write lyrics, those guys, over at the specials. Keep doing what you're doing, guys, you scams. Uh, so, yeah, that's the specials. Uh, next we have another one that I've shown you before, but I just want to show you again uh, because I'm in love with this. Uh, and this is um, uh, Nights in White Satin by the Dickies. This is of course a cover by the Moody Blues, from the Moody Blues, rather. Uh, you want to, yeah. Uh, this was released under uh, A&M Records. Um, lovely looking. I've, I've got to show you this. White, so cool, uh, and it's such a great cover. It's just so hard hitting. It's to the point, and I love the um, the Moody Blues, uh, the Moody Blues original. It's beautiful, beautifully sung, well played. But these guys just hit home a lot more with it. So that's nice and what's sat in by the fabulous Dickies. Also, if you want to grab one of their albums, the fabulous Shrinking Dickies, I think it's called. Uh, yeah. And there was sort of a cover of Black Sabbath's Paranoid on that same album. Uh, and it's beautiful. It's like yellow, bright yellow LP. It's great. All their, actually, most of their LPs will find are, are coloured. So that's the Dickies Night in White Satin. Nights in White Satin. Uh, next, we have a bit of a. Hold well, on, let me find the third one. Excuse me, Jen. Hang in there. Um, I'll just come across it as I go along. Um, Right, we have this beautiful looking single here. This is, of course, The Mighty Rush. Who might you say? Educate yourselves. Educate yourselves, people. Come on. Rush. Um, this is, of course, just a, just a picture disc. Uh, we've got um, subdivisions and red, uh, red beretta or bachetta, however you want to pronounce it. And um, fantastic listens. I don't really have to tell you about this. If you're a Rush fan, you know. You know both those tracks are fantastic. That's Rush. I mean, look how lovely that is. In fact, the voice has uh, this tattoo just onto his forearm. Not the colours, but just in bright red. It's really lovely. Uh, so, yeah, Mighty Rush. And then the theme of Rush. Some more Rush for you guys. Uh, Rush, Spirit of the Radio, uh, and The Trees, which is fantastic. Both great tunes. Uh, another great little cover there. Just them doing some live performances and just some album artwork on the back. Uh, this was released under uh, mark this is mark, marketed by phonogram uh, under mercury mercury records um t -t 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 don't have a date for you but yeah more rush <laughs> we don't treat you uh rush uh another one new world man um side one being new world man and side two being vital signs which is a live performance live you say live uh, on the back we have yeah, the mighty Gary Lee, Alex Lifeson, and um, oh, my God, I forgot his name. Neil Pert. There we go. That's really bad of me. Forgetting the best drummer in the world. Terrible. Um, yeah, fantastic. As usual, Mighty Rush. 
praise be. Um, next we have actually I'm gonna I'm gonna bundle all these together because it's a lot of these. Hold on, let me just get all of these together. <laughs> Bear with me, guys and girls. Okay. For some reason we seem to have well not for some reason, I don't really mind this. We have a bit of a blondie collection going down. We've got uh, Blondie, the tide is high. And that's side A. Side B is Susie and Jeffrey. We've got Blondie's uh, Atomic. Uh, Atomic being side A. Um, yeah, it's actually just Atomic, which is cool. Nice little album right there. Uh, next we've got um, Blondie's Sunday Girl. Uh, side A being I Know But. Uh, wait a minute, Ign ignore me here. Yeah, uh, Sunday Girl and I Know But I Don't Know. That's what I meant to say. Uh, looking stunning there. And the third or the last one is, of course, Blondie's Call Me. Uh, we've got Call Me and Call Me Instrumental, side B. Um, really, I like this album, it looks beautiful actually. I like the, God, this is blued out with the pink background, it's really nice. Uh, this is released in 1980 under uh, uh, Chrysalis Records, uh, a company that I haven't actually heard of, which is quite cool. Uh, so yes, Blondie's Call Me, that was a bit of a Blondie hit for you there, guys and girls. Uh, next we have another jam, actually. Um, yeah, and that's the jams uh, start. Uh, I like this. I like the big bold lettering. Really, you know, screams at you, but especially with the pink. Also on the back. Really nice. I like that. Uh, let me have a look here. If my, yeah, great condition still. This was released from Polydor also in 1980 as well. Um, yeah, can't go wrong with this apparently. My brother seems to be a fan. Right, boys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Better than nothing. So that's the jams start. And uh, we are reaching the end, which is very, very sad. But don't worry, uh, we are coming up to do a, another video for you either tomorrow or the day after, but I'm feeling tomorrow might be okay. And uh, it's a review for my favourite, one of my favourite albums, and that's uh, Sounds Town by The Killers. I know that album, back to front, front to back, sideways. Whatever, backflips, frontflips, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, I love that album. So I will give you my spin on that album. Uh, anyway, we will. Okay, we have here. Emerson, Lake and Palmer, guys and gals. But Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Fanfare for the Common Man. And Brain Salad Surgery. That rolls off the tongue. Uh, I don't know this. Uh, I think I know found for the common man. I believe. Uh, I believe I've heard it, I've heard it blurted out of my off the voices bedroom, out of the prog scoop dungeon, um, where all the mystical creatures play and wander. Um, so yeah, the VLP. Uh, next we have a bit of the uh, Gary Newman. Um, some lovers and haters out there. I realise, but. Lovers in the house. Gary Newman's. Uh, we got the this wreckage and photograph. And uh, this was released under. So with me, guys and gals. Beggar's Banquet in 1980, which is cool. That's Gary Newman. This wreckage. Uh, we've also got another rush. This is the other rush. Fantastic. There was a there was a fourth. I know, right? We were so we're treating you today. Uh, we have uh, Bastille Day and the Temples of Shirinx. Uh, and uh, Side B is Closer to the Heart. That's a great single. That's really good. Uh, two fantastic signs to it. Uh, this was released t -t 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 in 1977 under t -t -t Heath Levy Music. Probably. Yeah. Yes, go with that. So that's Rush's uh, Close to the Heart, Bastille Day, and Temples of Shirix. And uh, only three more for you guys. I'll stop boring you soon because it's getting to the 15 minute mark now. Um, we have uh, Anarchy in the UK by the Mighty Sex Pistols. Um, yeah, which is great. 
Um, I like this other side too. It's written in uh, French, which is cool. Um, this was released in about 1979 under uh, Warner Brothers Music, which is cool. That's Mighty Sex Pistols, Anarchy in the UK. Yeah, because we're so hardcore. Uh, next we have uh, another jam, actually for you, guys and gals. And that's uh, Strange Town and the Butterfly Collection. But there's one special thing about this LB. Yellow. Yellow. Isn't that lovely? Looks like you just eat More it. More than mustard. But... but, unfortunately, guys and gals, it has a crack in this LP. Which is so unfortunate, because it's so lovely. And I've never seen an LP like this before. But um, I can't get... Well, we just don't want to get rid of it. Because <laughs> it's so nice. I don't know if you can see it here. It's just across there. You can see it there, just across there. Very sad. Um, but moving on. On to the final. And the final. I'm sorry, guys. I know, I have to leave it there. Because I don't want to... As I said, I don't want to bore you. Sorry about that. I'm very popular today. Uh, we have, we have James Brown's Living in America. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Side A is Living in America, and side B is Farewell. Uh, this was released uh, in 1985 under CBS Records. By the looks of the things, great listen. Could never go wrong with James Brown. He was a uh, funky cat back in the day. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm not going to blabber on anymore. Um, again, very, very sorry for the, I think it was a month gap between the last, uh, 22 and where we are now. Uh, yeah, thank you for the continuing support. It means a lot that you're still even watching our videos, to be honest. Um, I realise our content's a bit slapdash, uh, but I intend to improve that. As I said, tomorrow we've got a review coming, so that's something to be excited for, to keep you on the edge of your seats. Um, but if you could subscribe, and if you haven't watched us before, uh, share our stuff around, drop us a like, a comment, anything like that. Shout out to uh, Adam Eighties, Trish Mullins, uh, you know the usual people. Um, all the you know all the love sending in your direction, um, and happy Easter to you all, or uh, uh, whatever you um, celebrate on a day like today. Um, but as usual, I've been me, you've been you. Thanks for stopping by, guys, and peace.